Hello, it's Andre from Daikot Edu. Today, I will talk about LoRa long range use case. I will show you how easy you can pull this data from Node to a backend. Node basically uh, consists of microcontroller or microprocessor and then there's a sensors or actuators and of course the LoRa transceivers uh, in order to be able to publish data from node to uh, LoRa server via internet you will need to have gateway so LoRa gateway you can use single channel gateway or well multi-channel gateway and we will leverage a LoRa 1 um, protocol yeah LoRa 1 basically MAC media access control protocol that is compatible with the oscillator so for the gateway we will use this Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi hat that is made by our partner Daikon X. Here it is. Of course, you can purchase the hat from this website and as for note we will use ESP8266 base micro controller this guy um, and this is the uh, RFM95 base uh, LoRa transceiver okay this one is also Dicot X Map Development Board for ESP8266. Now I will bring out the uh, LoRa Gateway software that's already installed and configured in this Raspberry Pi. If you'd like to get the software, you can go to my GitHub single channel packet provider. You will have all the necessary uh, instruction to get started. Um, this um, repo actually popped from Hallert. So all the credits goes to these guys. Thanks for that, guys. So um, back to the Raspberry Pi. Let's see if uh, I have it already. So for the software to run, we need to execute the single channel packet forwarder executable. Okay, so when I run this program, the uh, LED on the Raspberry Pi hat will light up. If I execute, you can see that the LED will blink a few times. And the software will spit out some uh, log message that basically it will wait for the data to be arrived from the node all right so uh in order to be able to publish the data via LoRa one 
we need to configure the node in order to have some keys and device address and for that I will first create an application and then necessary keys so that the uh, the node will be able to communicate with the LoRa backend and our application server so again uh, for that I will use the uh, IoT hub.id which basically combine the LoRa server that will receive uh, data published by node the lower server will then will in in a sense relay the data to the application server so the application server that actually you know display the data in real time or process the data further for any kind of scenario that you have in mind All right so for that, let's see the IoT Hub. Here I have the IoT Hub already. I already registered. If you haven't, you can register for free. You can get it from iothub.id. So I'm in. Let us go ahead and create a new project or application first type the project name uh, it's always hard to name things Laura demo okay and then make sure you switch on the use Laura one option here and create here we have app UE information the array literal then the first thing that we need to do is add a node we need to register the node in order to be recognized by the LoRa server and all data that that will be uh, published by that node will be received so let's add a node here we need to enter the dev UE that's basically device uh, identifier that's generated by the device by the node and well I can use uh, any random string specifically hex string uh, 8 bytes hex string okay so the array literal for that deputy will be generated there's a bug here I need to manually delete the last comma I'm sure it will be fixed anytime soon and then for the app key you will have to leave it blank so right I think that's it now let's submit and there you have it we have the first note the next thing related to note that we need to do is register the session keys so the session keys basically uh, the key that will be used to encrypt all the data transmitted between nodes and the LoRa server so you can again input manually uh, or you can use this awesome button here just generate it okay and there you have it you have device address app session key and network session key and then let's submit it all right let's check it again we have the key 
and then we will use those keys and device address and then input those key and address to the node so for the node software I will use this Arduino sketch and for this I will need to you know install the library the LoRa one library for Arduino as I'm using the ESP8266 with the Arduino compatible framework so I can use Arduino IDE to program it okay and of course I will be able to use the you know Arduino compatible library so for the library itself I'm using this source code from this repository Arduino Elmic I'm already install it so let's switch to the Arduino IDE and I also use the example sketch coming from the library LoRa TTN ABP the things that I need to change is this device address let's copy it from the IT Hub ID okay and then I will need to copy the app session key this one and the last thing is the network session key again make sure you remove the last comma here actually I made a few changes in this sketch while the previous sketch uh, hard code the data to publish I changed a little bit so that I can randomize the data the data to publish is in JSON string temp which means temperature and this random string as if this is coming from the actual sensor temperature sensor and that's it so let's us compile it and then let's us publish it let me first make sure that okay okay let's publish it so it's done uploading let us see the uh, serial monitor here and let's see as well the uh, Raspberry Pi so as you can see this is already a package coming from the note already published uh, to make sure let restart the server so now I will restart the node by resetting it and you can see that the package will be arrived from the node and you can see as well the serial monitor will print out the the message that it's basically a uh, transmitted the data and of course on the Raspberry Pi hat the LED will be light up when it receives the data from the node let's try once again I will reset the node okay and let's see if 
the LED will blink if it receives the data from the node. Okay. I hope you can see it. Let's see once again. blink but the most important thing is that whether the data actually make it to the LoRa server and then eventually goes to your application okay for that let's go back to the IoT Hub dashboard let's go to the home And let's go ahead and open the dashboard. Here we go. So initially the dashboard will be empty. It's time to add some widgets here. Add pane. Add a widget, I will use the text widget for the, the title, big size, and on this value field, you will see that there is TAM field or key already populated. This is actually coming from the node. Okay, so if Previously, Node never published any data to this dashboard or to this project. This build will never be available. But since previously we already published the data, then it's available here. So let's us choose it. Temp value field and save. Set dashboard. Okay, there you have it so let's see if the data from the node actually make it to the server let us see the uh, serial log here and I will bring up as well the terminal that shows the log output from the Raspberry Pi now I will restart the node device boom as you can see that the temperature now 24 okay the package make it to the gateway and from that gateway uh, relay the data to the LoRa server and eventually make it to this dashboard let's try once again boom 23 let's try once again boom 28 28 make it to the gateway and make it to the IoT hub.id so there you have it I have shown you how easy you publish the data from the node to the backend via LoRa and LoRaWAN I can't wait to see the exciting things that you will do with this with this LoRa hat for Raspberry Pi and also the LoRa one support in IoT Hub.id. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Goodbye.